New at 5, we are now hearing from Tulsa Public Schools Superintendent Dr. Deborah Gist. You see here, after the state superintendent said yesterday that her district is failing and that she should be replaced. Gist says Ryan Walters is spreading misinformation. We told you the State Board of Education is set to vote on whether to pull TPS's accreditation on August 24th. Fox 23's Tony Motorzitski has been covering this story for us. She starts our live team coverage tonight with how Gist is responding to a potential state takeover of the district and Tanya, what she plans to do with schools starting very soon. Rick and Sarah, this conversation is on everybody's minds. Now, what uh, Dr. Gist tells me is that she's remaining focused on getting ready for the first day of school next week, and then she'll worry about the rest after. After State Superintendent Ryan Walters went before media Monday saying Tulsa is a failing school district and students are reading below state average. 15 elementary schools have less than 5% of their students reading proficient. And made it clear he wants a new superintendent in the district. TPS Superintendent Dr. Deborah Giss says the facts he put out were not true. What is accurate is that in 2018, Tulsa Public Schools as a whole, all students were at 22% proficiency. And in 2022, following the pandemic, we are at 13%. During last year's accreditation process, the state downgraded TPS to a warning that she says was unjust and violated the Open Meetings Act. She says she heard he wants to potentially have the state take over the district and revoke her license from my story I told you about on Friday. Giss says she was actually on her way back from Walter's office to discuss her academic plans when she heard that. Here's how it was developed. Here's what we're doing. Everything that I've just said to you about the way in which we track our performance and how we're reporting out to Tulsans about our performance. And um, he said, oh, thank you very much. She says he never indicated to her that he wants to do a state takeover like what's happening in Houston, where the state removed the superintendent and did a complete change in the district. Giss says it's possible that can happen. Although at the probation level, as I said, that does give um, the State Department of Education that authority over who serves as the superintendent. Even though it's possible, she says it's not the best choice for students and families. What we know about what happens when there's a government takeover of a locally elected school board, and mostly it's not successful. And there is, you can you can Google it, there is great information about this. Um, there, uh, there is evidence that it is extremely disruptive, um, pulls things off track, is ex incredibly upsetting to communities and pulls away their expectation that public schools belong to the public. TPS starts school August 17th and a week later, August 24th, as you heard Rick say earlier, is when that the State Board of Education is set to decide on TPS's accreditation future. Live covering news that matters, I'm Tanya Motorzitski, Fox 23 News.